tap that screen. If this message has found you on your For You page, you might want to fucking pay attention because it might be for you, okay? So tap that screen and think about your situation, the guidance that you're seeking, and the questions that you're needing answers to. And let's figure out what the answers are, okay? All right. Hmm. So we got an Ace of Wands reversed. Six of Cups. The Moon. Eight of Pentacles. Five of Cups reversed. Hmm. The Star, Knight of Cups. The Fool reversed. The Five of Swords reverse and the Nine of Swords. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Some of you in this collective, I feel very strongly that there was some sort of a manifestation that you had. Okay. And you had high hopes for this. Very passionate, very inspired, very determined. However, it seems that someone from your past has reared their head again in your life and brought to you a romantic gesture with the Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups. I feel like this person has communicated to you and let you know how they feel, right? And with the Six of Cups, I do feel that this person feels very connected to you. Or you might know this person from childhood or years and years and years. And spirits are showing me there's a high power probability that you've been soul connected to this person from a past life. Now, I feel that you were under some sort of an illusion, okay, that for whatever reason, you acted foolishly, carelessly, right? I feel like the excitement was so great that you kind of put the cart before the horse and jumped in prematurely. So with the fool reversed, I feel like you were a little naive and careless, right? And with the moon, you were under this illusion that it was gonna just, everything was gonna be perfect. Just jump right in and and, and that's it, right? No problems, no issues, no, none of that. But unfortunately, that's not the case. I feel like with the Five of Swords, spirits are showing me there's a lot of regret. There may have been some disappointment, and I feel like there's some resentment here. However, this person is still working their ass off and determined to make it work, right? They're putting in the time, they're putting in the work, they're learning the lessons that they need to learn and as they go. And I do feel like this person is still continuously learning. I still feel like they're trying to build some sort of foundation to give them this solidity and stability of moving forward towards you. And with the Five of Cups reversed, I feel like this person's like letting go and, and recovering from whatever this, it was almost like a, a rude awakening, if you will. So when they had this illusion that things were just gonna progress and work great, it didn't. It kind of backfired and there were setbacks and it was like a roadblock, you know? And there's a lot of regret here. There's a lot of resentment. And I feel like they're at this point in time, whoever this is, is at this recovery mode. And yet at the same time, they're still fucked in their head with the nine of swords. And I feel like they're worried that things aren't gonna happen. That they're possibly having nightmares and up at night and anxiety and I feel like even though they're in this recovery mode they're still in very heavily in their head about the situation okay hmm yeah Queen of Pentacles reversed yeah she is not happy she is not getting what she wants um, I feel I feel like she was a little overindulgent like I said put the cart before the horse and acted a little too soon. And when this person came forward with the romantic gesture, I feel like it made her very, very happy, very happy. 
and excited and optimistic about the future. And again, she got so excited, she put the cart before the horse and was very overindulgent and didn't think, but also very stubborn because she wants this person. I feel like she is in love with this person. And if you want to know the truth, the manifestation that didn't come, pan out, that is the one I'm referring to. Again, put the cart before the horse. Now with the world card, I do feel like there is an opportunity coming soon with now letting things go and in recovery mode. I do feel like there is an opportunity soon to complete the cycle and accomplish this situation and feel accomplished and fulfill her heart, right? And with the 10 of swords reversed, I do feel like she's at this point of recovery and I feel like she's made a lot of fucking excuses of why it didn't work or what what it, everything and anything of what it actually is and why the truth what the truth is of why it didn't work right so i feel like she's at this point where she's hit the rock bottom in the situation and now the only thing she can do in the deep beat the hole that she's put herself in and scared to death and all up in her feels and her head is recover right and worried about oh my god did i lose this person forever with the lovers reversed, right? And that's what she's afraid of. Now, uh-huh. I feel like, I feel like she's been juggling, juggling a lot in her life. I feel like she's been very busy. And so when this came about, I feel like it came about in a very busy time in her life. And she just wanted it to happen and didn't, really take the time to invest in what it really needed to nurture this connection to life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with the five of pentacles. Yeah. I do feel like this person and her at one point in the past, maybe got together or tried to get together. And there was a, a ghosting situation where this person, where whoever this, this, this woman is, uh, felt left out in the cold felt emotion, emotional loss. She might even be recovering from financial loss, which is probably why she's so damn busy. But with the Eight of Swords reversed, I do feel that she is breaking free from this rut that she basically put herself in with false hope and putting the cart before the horse, moving too soon when it was too premature. Because Mr. King of Wands here, which is our player, um, he wasn't ready for a commitment at all. And I feel like what he wanted from her was just taboo, unconventional, non-committal, and nothing for the long haul. And this was very, very unfair to her, in her opinion. And she just wanted fairness in this connection, and she wasn't getting it. It weighed very heavy, heavy on her as a burden. And I feel like this has put her in this crossroads at the end of the day for, you know, open to reconciliation, but at the same time on the fence about this connection. Is this gonna work? Is this not gonna work? What do I do? How do I balance this out? You know, what's the best decision? What's the best avenue of approach here? I want balance in this connection. This is not a balanced connection. And it's heavy on her mind, heavy on her heart. It's a huge burden to deal with. And all she wants is just to be happy with this person that she loves so fucking much. Five of Wands reversed. Yeah. Once again, I do feel like there is. this is a reconciliation. 100% from someone from your past. I feel like once you do reconcile, um, you will be at that point feeling a little bit more harmonious and content. And I do feel like at that point, you'll be able to get out of your head. However, with the Seven of Swords, the way things are going right now, I feel like there's some sort of uncertainty yet at the same time. I feel like the uncertainty, the, the real truth, the real reality of the situation, putting the cart before the horse and realizing that this person is not in it for the long haul and all that reveal is really, really hitting her hard, okay? Um, I feel like she's, it's like she's finally telling herself the truth, right? Like, oh yeah, he really doesn't want me, okay? Uh, but there's your counterpart. This is your counterpart. So. I feel like you have a counterpart. He's reversed. So he's very stubborn. He's very corrupt. He's deceptive and manipulative. And once again, with the King of Wands reversed, paired with him, I do feel like this person 